Hello everybody. It's a super quick one um, today and something that's come up in some of my other videos and some something that's come up by students asking is how do you check for string palindromes in Python? And actually, it's surprisingly easy. Um, you check if the string is the same way forward as it is backwards. And that seems self-evident. So, for example, we would be ch checking to see, say, if the word hello, oops, we would be checking to see if the word hello is exactly the same as the word Ollier, which, of course, is not, is it? So if we had the word Dodd, D-O-D, that would be the same as the word Dodd, wouldn't it? Backwards and forwards, it's the same word. It's the same backwards and forwards. So we can write a really quick function for that in Python using something called string slicing, um, which actually makes this particularly easy. So I'm going to make a function and I'm going to call it is pdrome, is pdrome of s and I'm going to use s for string as opposed to n or x for number. And I'm going to say if s, if the entirety of the string is the same as the string in reverse. So the way we reverse a string is we take the string and we have the square brackets into which we put some slices. And in here we say from where are we going to start and where are we going to end? Now, if we were doing this and we wanted to slice up the string into little bits, we'd put numbers in here. So start at the 12th character, end at the 34th character, for example. And then I put another colon, which would be what is called a stride length. So every one character, two characters and so on and so forth. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to miss out the first two numbers. So I'm just going to have two colons. So if I miss out the first two numbers, it means use the whole string. And I want to start at the end of the string and go backwards. And I want to go backwards every character. So I'm just going to put minus one. So minus one will start at the last character and go backwards one character at a time. So what I'm saying here is, is, is S the same as actually taking S and reading it backwards? So if S is the same as the reverse of S, I'm going to return, can't spell, I'm going to return true. And actually, if it's not, I'm just going to return false. So here, for example, print, and I'm going to say is pedrome, I can't spell, is palindrome, is pedrome of, let's make a word, cat. Is pedrome of cat. What is the pedrome of cat? So if I run this, it's going to push capital C, A, and T, and then it's going to reverse it to T, A, capital C. So I should get false as an answer to this if I run this with shift and return, which I do. If I go back into that code and I make it, let's, let's say I'm going to call it tat, T, A, T, uppercase and lowercase. If I run that, it's going to go uppercase T, lowercase a T equals reverse the string, lowercase T, lowercase a, uppercase T. Should still say false, which it does. At this point, though, if I make that a capital T, uppercase T, lowercase a, uppercase T, and then it'll swap it around, that is palindromic, isn't it? It's the same forwards and backwards. It should now say true which it does. If I'm making a function here now, though, maybe I want to take care of worrying about is it uppercase or lowercase just for the sake of actually maybe I don't know if the strings are uppercase or lowercase. If I run this, it will say false. Yes, it will. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another parameter I'm passing into this function, which I'm going to call C. So I'm also passing in the string S and now C. And what I'm going to say here is if C equals true, I'm going to make S to equal S dot upper. Could do S dot lower, I suppose. But what that says is if I pass a C into here now, is pedrome tat comma, and I'm now going to say false. Oh, I'm going to say true, actually, sorry. 
So what I'm now doing, it's going to pass tat into this function, but also it's passing in true. If C is true, S is S dot upper. So actually it'll turn tat, uppercase T, lowercase a, lowercase t, all into uppercase. So this time if I run this statement, I should get true because the word is all uppercase, which means it will be palindromic. And there we go. So a very quick way for checking for palindromic strings in Python is to use the string slicing function here. And we say is the string for the forward version of the string s, is it exactly equal to s and then square brackets, colon, colon, minus one, which takes the string and re reverses the string. Very simple way of checking for palindromic strings. Thanks for listening.